today's show, we meet a youth group who are doing button mushrooms at Bunny L Farm in Limburu. We start off with one of the founders of the youth group, Leonard Mukiri and Bob Kimaku. Leonard and Bob have been great friends and neighbors since time immemorial. They grew up around farming but had never thought that they would be farmers themselves. For them, the idea came in campus. Leonard was studying plant science at the University of Nairobi and Bob was studying biochemistry at Egerton University when the idea hit them. Both courses touched on fungi as part of microbiology and both friends thought of how they could do mushrooms as part of agribusiness. It is said that the dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. The idea was there, but the capital was not. Leonard takes us through what it meant to begin mushroom farming. I'm Leonard Tairo, uh, a member of the Baniel Farm. We are a team of uh, seven people, seven youths. Uh, we began our, our, our work here uh, back in 2016 after completing university. Uh, we were so unemployed, so we went out looking for jobs and we, uh, we didn't have uh, any, 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 anywhere to get our jobs. So we decided to uh, unite as a team, uh, get capital from uh, various hustles that we did. Uh, and uh, uh, finally we came up uh, with uh, a team and we got to Kwapata Capital and to Kanza our team as a Baniel farm uh, for farming mushrooms. Yeah. There are different varieties of mushrooms in the market. There is oyster mushrooms, button mushrooms, shiitake, enotikai, penny balm, among many others. Why did they decide to do button mushrooms? We decided to do a button mushroom because uh, uh, the market out there is uh, wide enough. The demand is very high. And uh, looking at the supply that is uh, uh, in the farmers in Kenya, the supply is not yet to, to meet the demand. So we saw that uh, as, if we can unite as a group, uh, we can do a white button mushroom, which uh, we have ready market back there in town. According to the National Farmers Information Service, there is a high demand of mushrooms in the Kenyan market. Kenya produces 500 tons of mushrooms per annum, of which 476 tons is button mushrooms against the annual demand of 1,200 tons. When it comes to the export market, the demand is also quite high and insatiable. To gain a better understanding of how they grow their mushrooms, Leonard hands over to Bob to show us how things are done right from the compositing process. Uh, much of the process, uh, Bob will take us through um, the process of uh, how we, the production goes until uh, marketing. I'm Bob, a member of the Baniel farm. I'll be taking you through the composting process, which is the first one month of mushroom production, which you see behind me is what we are doing now. So production, the production, mushroom production takes approximately two months to prepare. The first one month is the preparation process, which is the composting process. Then the second month is the, is the incubation period, whereby we already plant the, the mushroom spawns and take them to the house, the mushroom production house of the mushrooms. So the preparation process, you require uh, wheat straw, sheep and manure, molasses, uh, BM1, and uh, urea, MOP, uh, agricultural lime, um, gypsum, uh, and the spawns. Those are the components that in during this one month of preparation process that we go step by step as we put each ingredient at a particular step until the composting process is done where we spawn the compost and take them to the production house. Um, as you see behind me, we have begun the process. This is the second day of turning, whereby we try to mix the components evenly so that the compost can, can, be, can be decomposed, can decompose fast so that it can get ready until by the end of the month we can be able to, to have a ready substrate whereby we spawn the, the substrate. Quite interesting. What exactly is spawn and substrate? The substrate is the medium whereby the spawns, the mushroom spawns are put in so that it can grow the mushrooms that we require at the end of the production. The spawns are the seeds, are the mushroom seeds that are required by, the, are like the seeds 
that are produced by the by the by the by the mushrooms when they are completely mature. So the spawns are the seeds that are used to grow the the mushrooms. That is indeed correct. Any type of material with mycelial growth used to propagate mushrooms is called spawn. Spawn can be in many forms such as sawdust, as Bob has mentioned, grain, plug, dowel, wood chip, straw, or liquid, which is basically water enriched with mycelia. Apart from getting the spawn and substrate correct, what are other requirements to keep in mind? First, you have to identify a site whereby you can have your house that can be that has a conducive environment for the production of the of the mushroom. So you have to have a house whereby the mushrooms are grown in. Then you have to have a small compound where you can do your composting process. So behind me is the small area that we do our composting process. Then we have our house whereby when we complete the product, the composting process, we take the ready substrate to the to the to the to the house. We have the ingredients, the components that we use to to mix the substrate so that it can be ready for. For, 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 for spawning. So the, the, sub, the components are mostly supplements whereby we supplement the wheat straw so that it can be strong enough to prolong the production of the, of the production of the mushroom. Creating a mushroom house is crucial for any mushroom farmer. It is the home for the mushroom for a couple of weeks. It takes for them to fully grow. Bob shares with us things he kept in mind as they built the mushroom house. The house should be a conducive environment whereby you can grow a fungi since mushroom is a fungi. So the, product, the, the conducive environment for the, for, the, for the mushroom production, it has to be a cool, a cool house, it has to be an aerated house, it has to be, to be well to be well, a cold place, uh, a cold place with temperatures around 10 to 20 degrees. When we come back from the break, Find out how Bob and his team harvest the mushrooms and package it as well as how many returns you can get from mushroom production. <laughs> <laughs>